Bangle Genius here. Woo wee! The Finley era has ended just as quick as it begun. Uh, the guy doesn't have what it takes to get this team over the top. You could just tell by looking at him. He's Andy Dalton. Just, there's nothing there. Okay. So let's forget about Finley and get on to the real discussion at hand. Joe Burrow or Tua Tagalaviola. I got to learn how to pronounce that name. Well, Joe Burrow, he got the best of Tua the other day. Um, Tua is a little bit smaller. Uh, it's, 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 it's a real toss-up. I don't know which one's better. It is going to be hard for any QB to come in here and turn things around. But let's be optimistic, okay? There's a couple different ways to go. Obviously, this team needs a ton of help. They could trade down and accumulate picks. You know, we all regret that we didn't do that in the Achilles Smith draft. They could stay put, take one of the best quarterbacks. They could, this is a very deep quarterback class. What if they took an offensive lineman with the first overall pick and then grab someone like Jake Fromm back in the draft? But at least we're going to have a pick. But this guy has got to be a true difference maker. I mean, he's got to be a lock. So I'm hoping throughout the bowl season, we're going to see a lot in the SEC championship game. We still got to see uh, Herbert in a, from Oregon in a big game. I don't know. I don't know which guy to pick, but at least we're going to have someone. This team, this franchise is in huge, huge trouble. Uh, Zach Taylor, I'm going to give him another year and just hope that, you know, it's growing pains. He's young and learning on the job. Lou Anarumo definitely is not up to defensive coordinator standards. The guy, there's no scheme there. Uh, point to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you can see what good coaching does. I hate the Steelers, but, you know, them guys, you know, Brown's gone. Connor got hurt. Bell's been gone two years. Ben Roethlisberger goes out. They're down so many quarterbacks, and they just won four straight games. They're making trades. They're just doing everything they can. They want to win. I do not know what the Brown family's doing. They're very incompetent. That's clear. There was a rumor that Bezos would look into buying an NFL team. I would love it if he bought Cincinnati. Offer him $2 billion, man. What's the difference just to get an NFL team? It's just, it's painful watching how horribly this team is ran. The, 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 the scouting department, the personnel decisions are so bad. Oh, man, that defense yesterday. And I really think if there was a better defensive coordinator, Aubrey Pleasant, who they should have hired in the first place, Lou has no idea how to scheme, how to get the best out of his personnel. Them linebackers are painfully soft, man. Vigil just, oh my God, he's like, he's like just like a tissue, man. He couldn't, he caught that guy at the goal. I was thinking like, would Ray Lewis, what would happen if Ray Lewis hit that guy? Man, he would have knocked him through the, knocked him through the uh, back of the opposing end zone. We need so much help. We need uh, line help. We need linebacker upgrades. The secondary is horrible. We need better coaches. We need a new offensive line coach. We got to get uh, maybe a new offensive coordinator. Zach Taylor shouldn't be calling the plays. There's just so much work to be done. So it starts with that number one pick. And there's also a chance. Think of this. If you're Tua Tagaloa and you know how tight his dad is with him, he might refuse to come to Cincinnati. That's a real that's a real thing that could happen. Guys refusing to come to Cincinnati because the, the reputation's out on them. They ran like crap. You can see it's evident. They were clueless what to do on, on the trade deadline. They just got all these guys. They don't know what they're going to do. For everyone saying to pay A.J. Green, you can't pay A.J. Green if he's not healthy. You can't trade the guy. Who's going to trade for a guy who can't play this year? The ankle is not right. He's not going to come back this year. It makes no sense for him to do that other than wanting to get a contract. And it is a business. I love A.J. Green. He's obviously the best wide receiver. I love Ocho Collinsworth. But, I mean, you know, A.J. Green's the best wide receiver the Bengals have ever had. The guy's a legend. But he's been very unhealthy. You know, what are you going to do? Give him a max deal and he plays four games a year? It's just business. And that's unfortunate, but... We have so much stuff to do. I can't wait for Jonah Williams to come back next year. We need an offensive line. Oh, my God, we need linebackers. That was another one. Found out we, we offered Shaq Barrett. We, we canceled out on a two-year deal, and he's leading the NFL in sacks. A linebacker? Yeah, we could use that. So the front office, you got to get smarter. Whole team. Zach Taylor, you're going to have to go to coach camp. 
there's a there's a chance he could get fired. I, I mean, eh, we know how the Browns are. They're not going to fire him until like three, four years goes by. But this is just really, really bad football from top to bottom. And thankfully, I quit watching the game yesterday after after the first half. Finley, okay, good for Joe Mixon though, man. Is that guy got some heart or what? He is running hard and he's dying to win. Joe Mixon, way to go, Joe Mixon. Um, it's really impressive to see you hanging in there and not turning on the team. And man, bless your heart, man. Uh, that pick six was was pretty ugly. And you know, it's like Rich Gannon said, the guy's got average arm strength, and we, we need something special, special at the quarterback position. And they also got to protect them. So it should go quarterback number one. Um, if you're going to trade down to accumulate more picks because you need them, still quarterback number one, offensive line, number two, linebacker, number three, secondary. You need more depth. You need so much. So get to work, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter at the Bengal Genius. Uh, thanks for watching. Who day in this long season? Oh, Oakland Raiders this weekend. This guy named Paul. He called it out that the Bengals back in 1993 were 0-10 and went into Los Angeles 1993, led by the very legendary Bengal David Klingler, and they pulled it out. So it can happen, but don't do it, Bengals. You know what? Win one game this year, that's it, and then keep the number one pick. But don't go 0-16, man. All right, thanks for watching. Hootay.